Is it better to be a reactor or a creator? And why does it matter? You've undoubtedly seen a number of videos and perspectives of Will Smith smacking comedian and Oscar host Chris Rock by now. Rock commented offhandedly before presenting the Oscar for Best Documentary that he was looking forward to seeing Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, in G.I. Jane 2. Jada's bald head was the subject of Rock's remark. The problem with the joke is that Jada has publicly stated that she suffers from alopecia, an autoimmune illness that causes severe hair loss. Her look revealed that she was not too pleased with Rock's remark when the cameras panned to her. Smith stepped on stage a few minutes later and struck Rock in the face. It was a slap heard round the world. Will Smith is the epitome of a reactor rather than a creator. He gave in to his feelings and did something that will haunt him for the rest of his life, no matter how hard he tries to apologize and wish it away. So, what is a creator? Have you ever thought while watching a TV interview with a celebrity or a business tycoon or reading a biography of a successful person and you thought, wow, how did this person rise from such low or unhappy beginnings to become such a successful influential and happy individual. There are many such people in the world including Oprah Winfrey, Nelson Mandela, and Howard Schultz, the creator of Starbucks. They rose from humble beginnings to become some of the world's most admired and richest people. There are numerous roads to happiness and success when it comes to happiness and prosperity. You can be a fantastic business person or a fantastic mom. You can either write lovely music or run a country. While there are numerous paths to happiness, there are only two types of people and only one of them is likely to achieve true happiness and success throughout the course of their lives. It makes no difference who they are, where they live, or what their history is. When it comes to living a life they enjoy, there are few things to consider. Individuals who let their circumstances define whether or not they will create a better life, reactors, and those who create opportunities first, then watch their circumstances alter to support their opportunities, creators. If you're a reactor, like Will Smith, you'll let the circumstances of your life control you. Reactors are less inclined to act on their aspirations unless their life circumstances coincide to offer ideal conditions for doing so, which they rarely, if ever, do. As a result, reactors are less likely to live the life they truly desire. You take little steps in the face of uncertainty if you're a creator. On the other side, if you're a creator, you don't wait to assess your current situation before taking action. Rather, you start with a vision such as, I'm going to buy a property by the sea and wake up to the fragrance of the sea. I'm going to own my own restaurant and serve delicious food. Or, I'm sure my soulmate is already looking for me. I'm going to lose 20 pounds by the summer and look fantastic. It makes no difference if you are trying to make ends meet, lack a college education, or reside in a tiny town where you only know a few people. You first select what you want, and then you watch your life unfold in order to achieve your goal. As a creator, you begin with the end in mind and track how your circumstances evolve over time. You meet someone through friends who introduces you to a seminar that sparks an idea for making more money at your job, which you then invest in something you, you've read about. And before you know it, you're living the life you truly desire. Creators are more concerned with the why than the how. They have faith that whatever needs to happen will occur, and they don't need to know how it will occur to think it will. Instead, they think about why they want what they desire. Perhaps they want to feel more alive, spend more time with their children, go on more adventures, or even go up the stairs without panting. 
Creators believe that their life circumstances will somehow fall into place, and they are correct. They'll most likely be able to locate the funds in some way. They'll almost certainly meet the proper people. They learn what they need to know in order to accomplish their goals. Reactors, on the other hand, are unable to get past the how. They are concerned that they will not have the time, money, or connections to pursue their passion. As a result, rather than being the outcome of the action they've made, their life is a result of what occurs to them on a daily basis. There are certain persons who appear to have a strong sense of purpose and have achieved a level of independence that few others have. They travel when they want, wherever they choose, on their own timetable, and without regard for money. These individuals are not exceptional. They've simply learned to use what we all have, which is the potential to create in ways that allow us to be more free. Don't panic if you discover that you're more of a reactor than a creator. That doesn't mean it's hopeless or that you'll never live the life you've always desired. It simply means that you'll require a little more support and encouragement, as well as the knowledge of tried and true tactics for getting unstuck and moving forward towards your goals.